معرفة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Now let us discuss about Now let us discuss about total debt in relation to the total assets or average market cap okay let us take an example again to understand this better so if there is a company and this company has entered into a debt arrangement wherein this company has taken a loan of for example 10 million dollars on interest so this is a conventional loan based on interest which this company has taken now the question is if there's an Islamic fund can the Islamic fund invest in such a company which has on its balance sheet a loan of 10 million dollars how this is viewed from Sharia perspective is that in such a scenario first and foremost in today's uh, investment market when we invest in a company we buy a share be it a listed company or be it a non-listed company but generally Islamic funds uh, to a greater extent what we have seen in terms of market practice is that they buy listed equities so for example in this case if the equities of this company are listed and we understand that when we buy an equity of the company we become a shareholder and by becoming a shareholder we also become a owner in the assets of the company the answer to the question whether the Islamic fund can invest in such a company which has a debt of 10 million is first and foremost if we are using average market cap the answer to the question whether an Islamic fund can invest in a company which has a loan of 10 million dollars a conventional loan where the company on a regular basis is paying interest on such a loan is allowed or not is that we have to see what is the average market cap of this company now to to see what is an average market cap we have to understand what is market cap what is market capitalization generally market capitalization is nothing but the value of the share multiplied by the total outstanding number of the shares so for example if the value of one share of this company is for example one share of this company is equal to thirty dollars right and the outstanding share in the market as of today are for example 1 million so the total market cap of this company will be thirty dollars into 1 million which is nothing but 30 million right now the question is for example just for ease of understanding let us understand that even the average market cap meaning to say why they take an average market cap is because as we know that the share prices on a regular basis fluctuates so it is always better if we are taking the market capitalization as a benchmark 
uh, to screen, then it is always better to take the average market cap. So generally, currently, some of the major indices are using either 24 month or 36 month trailing average market cap as a as a benchmark to calculate the total debt. So for example, even the average market cap of this company, let us take for ease of understanding is 30 million. So what we have to calculate is that the total debt, which is 10 million, divided by the average market cap, which we have taken as 30 million, okay, should be less than, okay, should be less than 33%. So in this case, for example, this is one third, which is 33%, which is, okay. So what we understand here by this example is that this company, because it is passing this test, meaning to say that the total debt of this company divided by the average market cap of this company is less than 33%. And hence it is allowed for the Islamic fund to invest in such a company. But in case, if this same company has taken a 20 million loan, okay, and the average market cap of this company is 30 million, then it would not be allowed for the Islamic fund to invest in such a company. Now you may ask that what is the reason that we have used one third as a benchmark? That's the first question. The second question you may ask is that why are we considering the first question you may ask is that why one third is used as a benchmark? So the rationale to, to use one third as a benchmark is that the Sharia scholars and even in the jurisprudence of Sharia, anything which is beyond one third is considered as majority, meaning to say, so for example, this is the balance sheet of the company and For example, this is debt of the company. Okay, this is debt. Now, the remaining portion, okay, which is more than one third, and for example, this is one third. Now, this portion, either in one case, if we are using the total assets, hmm, or in the other case, because some screening parameters also use ma average market cap. In both the cases, okay, the major portion has to be the total assets or the average market cap. The moment this debt increases, okay, so for example, the moment this debt goes beyond one third, then what they say is that the, the total structure is in a way becoming a debt structure and the total company is becoming a debt company and the share of this company, okay? So for example, this is the share of the company, I mean to say the share certificate of this company is a representing a debt okay and not actual total assets of the company or the average market cap of the company so now this debt certificate if it becomes and if we are trading in a debt certificate then this debt certificate can only be traded on par but we have seen that in equity markets shares are not traded on par but they are traded either on premium 
be, uh, they are traded either on premium or on discount and this is the majority case and hence whenever a debt is traded either on a premium or a discount whatever income is generated from that transaction that income is considered as an income of interest and hence it is not allowed to trade in a certificate which is backed by debt therefore it is not allowed for an Islamic fund to invest in a company whose certificate in a way reflects a majority of debt it is only allowed when the debt portion is less than one third of the total portion or portion of the company meaning to say that the debt portion should be less than one third in relation to either the total assets of the company or the average market cap of the company so just to recap as I said the second important financial screening parameter is in relation to the total debt of the company we understand that in today's world many companies uh, do involve in taking debt from the market and this is mostly conventional debt and when they take this debt they invariably pay an interest over the debt but for an Islamic fund the question is is it allowed to invest in such a company now the answer to that question is it is allowed to invest in company provided that the total debt divided by the average market cap of the company is less than 33 percent or the total debt of the company divided by the total assets of the company is less than 33 percent but if it is not less than 33 percent and if it is more than 33 percent then it is not allowed for an Islamic fund to invest in such a company because by doing such an investment it will be investing in a debt instrument and this debt instrument because it is actively traded in the market then in a way what an Islamic fund will be doing is that earning either premium or discount on this certificate and which is not allowed